13C also has a new feature that addresses the issue of management of similar systems at scale. Many customers now have hundreds if not thousands of components in their data center and clouds and they have trouble managing them consistently. Enterprise Manager 13C has a new feature called Drift and Consistency Management which directly address the issue of managing consistency at scale. In short there are two types of consistency management that you can do inter-target consistency monitoring and intra-target consistency monitoring. In short inter-target consistency monitoring or here shown as drifted targets is the comparison uh, on an ongoing basis at scale between a very large number of similar targets of the same target type. Consistency management is a simple way to ask Enterprise Manager to leverage the target model it has for things like composite targets, database machines, composite applications, cluster databases, and ask it to compare targets of a similar type within that type of container. For this demonstration, we'll just focus on these drifted targets or inter-target comparisons. I'm going to click on this 45 to drill in and see a little bit more detail about what these 45 targets are that have been drifted or have drifted. As I grill into the results here I get a further breakdown of the types of targets that are being monitored for drift and as you can see it, it applies or you can use this for simple targets like database instances and host as well as system or composite targets. Uh, things like you can you can use this to ma manage the consistency of applications throughout their life cycle so you can compare the dev staging QA can production environments of a very complex application and ensure that the configuration of those applications that you require throughout those lifecycle environments is the same. Let's drill a little bit further into this ICE, uh, fictitious ICE application here to see which uh, that there is one target, uh, one uh, application uh, lifecycle environment that has a drift in it and two others that are uh, not drifted or consistent in this case. So drilling a little bit further, you can see I get a little bit further detail in the results. I can see that one, uh, it's actually the QA uh, life or application uh, that is has has one uh, drift or one inconsistency in its uh, configuration, and the two others, the staging and the development environment, are the same. So uh, just for illustration purposes, let me show you something here. Let me just turn on the entire. Uh, stack as well as the all of the uh, four lifecycle environments. So you can see that for the first time now in Enterprise Manager we're showing results of configuration comparisons side by side. Uh, regardless of the number of targets that you're comparing now in Enterprise Manager 13C, you can see them uh, from left to right side by side. And then you can also see that here I have the entire stack modeled for this composite application consisting of host, database, listener, web logic, etc. And you can see that the one target, the one component of this application in the QA environment that is drifted is the database. So let's drill in a little bit further to take a look and see what those the difference actually is. And with one click here I can actually see that the actual difference is the fact that the initialization parameter job queue processes is set to a thousand in the reference which was my production environment and is actually 900 in the test environment or this QA environment. Now of course detecting these inconsistencies across large number of targets in your cloud is an important first step but it is the only only the first step in the process the next step will actually be to remediate any detected differences and for initialization parameters you can actually remediate directly from within the application by clicking on this synchronize button right here and it will actually synchronize the reference value uh, the value from the reference target to the uh, target here on the right hand side that's not equal uh, with a with a simple click of a button and following a few steps in the wizard 